Hi, this is David. Today we're talking about Microsoft Teams. Teams is a tool for helping you to collaborate with your teammates and does so through a lot of tools within the tool. T Teams is part of Office 365, so if your organization has Office 365 licenses, chances are that they also have Teams deployed as part of that. If they haven't, then talk to your IT department and find out why the heck not. Now, if I come over here, to this left hand menu and I click on teams right here and I can see a list of teams that are in my organization that I have favorited in other words these are the ones that I want to see all the time my organization have a lot more than this and I've blurred them out so that you can't see them um, but I favorited these ones and what I'm going to do is I am going to uh, create a new team and the way that I create a new team is down here on this button join or create a team I click on that you see there's some templates here of types of teams that I want to join, but I'm going to just click on create a team and then ask me do I want to build one for scratch or create one from an Office 365 group. I'm just going to build one completely from scratch right here. It'll ask me, is it private or is it public? If I make it public, that means that anybody that wants to join this team, they just can click on a button and add themselves to the team. If I make it private, they can still click on a button, but they're not automatically added. What happens is that an email gets sent to me as the or so some owner of the team, and that owner must approve them to add them to the team. So I'm going to make this one private. And all I really have to do give this is a name. I'll give this a name. I'll call it uh, my new test team. I can give it a description. Pretty much the best team ever. Description is optional. And then I will click on create. And after a few seconds, I get the thumbs up right here. And then I can add members to the team. I can search for members inside of my Active Directory, or I can just type in email addresses. This. Add people that aren't in my directory at all. Like so. I'm not going to add a whole lot of people to this team, but here it is down here. My new test team. You notice by default it has this general. This is called a channel. It has one channel by default. And on that default channel, we can see that I have a conversations tab, which just allows me to create threaded conversations. I have a files tab, which allows me to add and share files and I have a wiki tab that allows me to create some uh, some notes on here now this is still initializing it takes a couple minutes for the whole thing to initialize um, so while that's going on what I'm going to do is show you how to add a second channel to this so by default you get one channel if I want to add another channel then I click on the ellipsis next to the team and I select add channel right here and then I get the channel a name I'll call it second channel I could give it a description if I want to yep yep and if I click on automatic automatic favorite then any members of this team will automatically see this channel in their favorites if not they won't see it by default but they can always go in and add that to their favorites click on add right there and now I have a second channel that second channel also has the same three tabs conversation files and wiki all right and now i see these things have been initialized already or this one has right there yep it's been initialized so let me show you how to use this in conversation i can just start a conversation just by typing this box down here it's the first one so i'll say welcome to my team press enter or click this button over here this little paper airplane right there. Let me move this out of the way. I'm actually using Teams to record the screencast, which is kind of meta. Usually I use Camtasia for that, but I thought Teams would be nice. Um, I can reply to this message or other people can reply to it and say, it's great to be here. I just pressed enter, but I can press the airplane if I want to. I can favorite messages or I can say, you know, thumbs up. I really like that message, or maybe on a shorthand to say yes or OK. I can save it, kind of bookmarks it so that I can find it more easily later on and so on. So there's things I can do inside of here and I, or I can add a, create a brand new. I can reply to this or create a brand new threaded conversation right here. On the files, 
this is where I could add files. So I'm going to do so by creating a brand new file. Click on new right here. I can create folders if I want to create some organizational structure to this, or I can add a new Word, Excel, or PowerPoint presentation. I'll do a new Word presentation. I have to give it a name. I'll call it um, uh, or, um, Doc Create. And then it launches an online version of Word, meaning that I can just type in here whatever I want to. I think if I do equals, is this a, I forget, I haven't done this in a long time. I guess not. So, but, uh, I don't have to click save. Notice there's no save icon up here. It's auto saved. So I just close it. Other people can see my changes by default. So I can create one inside of here, or I can just click upload and upload one from my local channel. So if I want to grab this data document right there and upload that, not a problem. Now it's part of Teams. Not yet. There it is, right there. It's part of Teams. I've got two Word documents in there. I can add Excel documents, whatever I want to add. Um, I can even add, uh, like, for example, I noticed that there's a, a Visio document here. It doesn't really matter with the type of file that I'm adding. It's just a file that I can share with other people, make it accessible to them, and they can edit it, assuming they have Visio and Word on their computer. If they don't, they can edit, edit some of these things inside of the browser. Um, and then uh, over here on Wiki, this is where I can just take some notes in this untitled page here, I'll just give it uh, my page. That's fine. Untitled section, we'll call that my section, etc. Then down in the content, some take. Those will be shared with other members of the team. There's even some formatting up here at the top. So those are the three tabs you get right out of the box. But suppose I want to add more tabs. Well, I can do so by clicking this plus, plus button right here at the top and then add a new tab. And there are templates for tabs right here. Um, different office documents, different third party tools are available here. Um, if I want to, let's say that I have a Word document in my files that I think is really, really important. I want to uh, give it its own tab, make it easy for everyone to find that right away. I can just click on Word right here. And it'll, it'll ask me to select one of these documents. Right there, the tab name, I just left it by default, which was Word, but there it is right here. And now I can come in here and users can collaborate on that without having to find it among the files, if I think it's that important. Um, the other thing I can do that I think is really interesting is add a tab for a website. And website's buried in here somewhere, so it's, it's actually right there. But if I can't find it easily, I can use a search button box at the top here and just type, and just start typing part of the name of it and click on website and in here. This one I'll give it a name. I'll call this one Microsoft. And then here I can just point to a URL of any website that's accessible from Teams. The one rule is that not only does it have to be, there's two rules. One has to be, uh, Teams has to be able to get to it. And the other is that it has to be, um, start with HTTPS, has to use SSL. So I'm going to use the Microsoft site. Microsoft.com, which does start with HTTPS. And then down here, post to the channels about this tab. That's checked by default. And what'll happen is that when you check that one, then in the conversation tab, there'll be a message posted there that says, hey, there's this new tab. Go check it out. So I'll click save right here, and you'll notice that a new tab appears. It's called Microsoft. And here it is, whatever the contents of the Microsoft website, even all the JavaScript works, the client side stuff works here. That's kind of cool. Over in conversations, because I checked that checkbox, there's a little conversation right there that says, check out this new tab right here. Now, the real power of this website, I think, is if you built your own custom web application that was relevant to this team. Maybe you're capturing data, maybe you're sharing information, maybe you're sharing reports, whatever it is. You can do that, deploy it out, say deploy it to Azure maybe, and then point to that web application. And now you've got a web application that's really specific to this team and really relevant to your team. So here we've seen how to work with Microsoft Teams, create a new team, work with some files, share some files, add some notes, add a new web application to it, and invite members. This is David.
Thank you for watching.